the Competing Values Framework. This model has been found useful for organizing and understanding a variety of organizational and individual topics to include leadership competencies, organizational culture, and organizational design. Developed by Robert Quinn and John Rohrbaugh, the Competing Values Framework is a theory developed initially from research done on major indicators of effective organizational performance. Based on statistical analysis of a comprehensive list of effectiveness indicators, Quinn and Rohrbar discovered two major dimensions underlying conceptions of effectiveness. Focused on organizational focus, which differentiates an emphasis on flexibility, discretion, and dynamism from an emphasis on stability, order, and control. The second dimension is organizational preference for structure which differentiates an internal orientation with a focus on integration, collaboration, and unity from an external orientation with a focus on differentiation, competition, and rivalry. Together, the two dimensions form four quadrants, with each quadrant having unique and defining sets of values and implications. What is noticeable about these four quadrants is that they represent opposite or competing assumptions. Each dimension highlights a core value that is opposite from the value of the other end of the continuum, such as flexibility versus stability, or internal versus external. These competing values in each quadrant give rise to the name of the model, the Competing Values Framework. This model has proven to be useful in understanding a diverse variety of organizational and individual phenomena, such as information processing, leadership competencies, leadership roles, and many more. Let's examine a couple of management models and examine how this framework can be applied. The internal process model emphasizes control and internal focus. If we look at the bottom left quadrant called the internal process model, the emphasis is on control and internal focus and stresses the role of information management, communication, stability, and control. Tools and techniques, including assessing and measuring Controlling processes, structuring, efficiency improvement, or quality enhancements are highlighted here. A competing management model to the internal process model would be the open systems model, which emphasizes flexibility and an external focus. The top white quadrant called the open systems model emphasizes flexibility and external focus and stresses readiness, growth, resource acquisition, and external support. Tools and techniques including innovation, creativity, articulating future vision, transformation change, or entrepreneurship are highlighted here. The human relations model emphasizes flexibility and internal focus. The top left quadrant called the human relations model places a lot of emphasis on flexibility and internal focus. It stresses cohesion, morale, and human resources development as criteria for effectiveness. Tools and techniques include teamwork, collaboration, talent management, empowerment, or interpersonal relationships are highlighted here. And finally, the rational goal model emphasizes control and external focus. The bottom left quadrant called the rational goal model emphasizes control and external focus. It regards planning, goal setting, productivity, and efficiency as being effective. Tools and techniques include competitiveness, fast response, decisiveness, and driving through barriers or goal achievement are highlighted here. Next, let us look at this framework as it applies to leadership development. Leadership development experiences and executive education programs often focus on competencies and capabilities that reside in each of the four quadrants. Eight categories of leadership behavior or roles emerge from this framework. Identified for each role is a set of three competencies essential for effective task performance. The specific leadership tools and techniques that receive emphasis with leadership groups are often determined by the organization's own culture, aspirations for change, competencies of the management or leadership team, or the feedback that individuals receive from various assessments. More effective managers have the ability to play multiple, even competing, leadership roles. Managers are expected to be capable of playing all of these roles. There is no right or wrong answer when trying to figure out what type of organization you are. You have to choose what kind of organization you want to be and disseminate those values throughout the organization. 
Companies must be competent in all four quadrants of the competing values framework to be profitable because some situations require more than one approach to problem solving. The competing values framework is about creating positive tension by putting the right combination of people with different competencies to produce the required types of innovation and results. We hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to this channel.